All right, take seven. Uh, question 43 from the homework. Starting with A, we're looking for H prime of three. So since A is a product, to find H prime, I gotta use, uh-oh, the product rule, what? So the product rule says F prime of X times G of X plus G prime of X times F of X. Cool beans, so we need to know all of those parts. I wish I would have gave myself more room to write, but whatevs. So I'll just, I'll just do A down here. All right, so uh, I need to know what F prime of three is. We're trying to find H prime of three. So I need to know what F prime of three is, and that is five times G of three, which is three, plus G prime of three, negative four, multiplied by F of three, negative two. Cool, so H prime of three, what, what? It's 15 plus eight, 23. Boom, H prime of three. Not, not too bad, right? No, okay, good. So let's do B where we're doing um, quotient rule, right? So H prime of three is gonna be equal to low D high, low. Sing it. No. Carlos is here, he's gonna sing it for us. Carlos, sing. Low D high minus high D low over low low. Mm, perfect pitch. Low D high minus high D low 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 low. That was good. Carlos should be a singer. So what do we have here? We have G of three, which is three, multiplied by F prime of three, which is five, minus F of three, which is negative two. Multiplied by g prime of three, which is negative four. All over g of three squared, so three squared. So let's simplify all that good stuff, and I've got 15. I got a minus, a negative, a negative, so minus eight over nine. Looks like seven ninths. Woohoo! All right, part C gives us a composition. So I know to find H prime, I need to use the chain rule, which says F prime of leave my baby alone, G of three, and multiply by the derivative of the baby, G prime of three. Cool, let's plug some stuff in. What is, uh, oh, I need to figure out what G of three is. G of three is, hey, look, it's three. Multiplied by G prime of three, which is negative four. So I need to know what f of uh, f of three f prime of three. Where's that? Oh, right here. Five times negative four. Did you get negative twenty? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So much fun. D is also a composition. So uh, to do D, we gotta do the same thing we just did, except this time f is the inner function, and the outer function is the to the third power part. So the derivative of a composition says do the derivative of the outer function. So the derivative would be three times blah, 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 blah to the second power. Leave the baby alone. So the baby is still f of x. And then multiply it by the derivative of the baby. So h prime of 3 is going to give us 3 times f of 3 cubed. f of 3 was negative 2. Sorry, negative 2 squared. I said cubed meant squared. Multiplied by f prime of 3, which is 5. So it looks like we got uh, 4 times 3 is 12 times 5. It's 60. Woohoo! Awesome. If you had a hard time with that, um, go to Edsby. On Edsby, I put a Khan Academy 
um, practice thing where there's questions like this, but they use tables. So same thing, but instead of having all your stuff right here, they give you tables where your values are found. All right, thank you, bye.